Hello, yeah, my friends. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm in... Do you know this place? I'm in Lima. Now it's January... Which date it is? I think it is 8th or something. 8th of January and I'm staying here in Lima. I'm staying in this house. I'm actually renting the the third floor this this floor from my uh, yoga student and I'm basically staying here all alone uh, I came here and I'm staying here in Lima because you know I want to see my son visiting my son my son is five years old now and now is summer vacations for him, so January, February is a good time to spend more time with him. And I'm going and I'm visiting him whenever I can. You know, as you probably know, I, am, I have separated. I'm divorcing from his mother, which is something I'm very happy about. <laughs> and uh, just one just wanted to let you know how I am, where I live. Many times I was thinking, or I would feel like I don't want to make videos while I'm in Lima, because I enjoy much more being in nature than being in, in a place with lots of noise and, you know, such environment. But I thought, why wouldn't I make a video? I wanted to know what I'm living in. Actually, there are cool things about here too. For example, you know, this is where I'm sleeping. This is where I have slept this night. I'm actually sleeping on my simple yoga mat, you know. For me, that's the coolest thing that could even be, you know. Sleep on the hard surface, sleep on, like, on your yoga mat. I need no bed. I'm so happy when I, you know, I need no bed. I don't want to ever again sleep in the bed, okay. And I've been sleeping on the yoga mat for, I don't know, or on the mats in general because you know I have lived in the mountains and nature where you sleep in the tent and, and on your mat so I have done this for I don't know how many years 10 15 years and it just feels amazing for my back I love it I just love it I prefer so much sleeping on the on the floor on the mat than sleeping in some bed I feel so much better I feel so much more awake alive alert rested and just good so the thing is you see i have my malas you know that i do my meditations with even even when i when i go to sleep before i fall asleep i'm meditating i have my mala in my hands doing meditations usually before i go to sleep i do like relaxation practice relaxation meditation to relax my body more and more so that my body relaxes and and those hours I spend sleeping at a more relaxed body, uh, physically more relaxed state of my body, I rest even better, right? So relaxation practice, body relaxation practice is something that I'm really excited about. And I think that everybody should know this. I think this, this is something that we should be taught at school. This is more helpful than all of the bullshit things we have learned and we have never ever used from the from back school. You can see what is this thing? You are sleeping with a knife, man. What the hell? Why are you sleeping with a knife? You may know or you may not know. South America is a dangerous place. Lots of crime here. And uh, Peru is one of the more dangerous countries in South America and definitely Lima is the most <laughs> dangerous place in in uh, Peru and the place where I'm living now Santanita is one of the more dangerous places of Lima so basically what I'm saying is it's a kind of dangerous place when you go out you know I know this place is okay for me I never had any problems but I know that you know things happen and it's not uncommon for somebody to get killed, to get shot, to get stabbed with a knife or something, you know. 
uh, lots of things going on like that. So even when I go to sleep, I have a knife close to me, you know, within my hand's reach. My hand knows where the knife is, so I'm always ready. And look, honestly, you may think I'm, <laughs> I'm strange, but I like even that. I like feeling that I have to stay awake, I have to stay alert, I have to stay strong because you never know. Like when I, uh, I visited Lithuania, I spent like one year in Lithuania, in Europe, you know. I came back to Peru like a few months ago, like two months ago. So basically staying in Europe, staying in Lithuania, I would be walking on the streets and I would see it's so it's so safe nothing no, nobody's going to rob you nobody's going to attack you nobody's going to you know it's like nothing is happening here i would feel like you know walking in those streets in europe like i could just faint you know fall have you know and and people would take care of me and get me to the hospital and everything is fine it's like you know people will take care of you and everything is just you know, no, no dangers at all. This is not the case in here. And I think that the, the, the dangerous, the challenges actually also make us more strong within ourselves. We, need, we, we, need, we know we need to stay strong. And this is something that I like. This is something that drives me. I feel good about it. And, and, uh, and I don't feel bad about being or living or staying or living in a dangerous place I actually feel it's like more adventure you know thing <laughs> so no complaints about that um, I'm happy to see that I uh, I'm doing my four hours sadhana every morning I get up usually at 3 or 4 a.m. sometimes even earlier and I, made, I do my practices, my yogic practice, practices for like for four hours, which is basically uh, one to two hours of uh, breathing practice, like pranayama. Then I love doing mantras these days, do some different meditations, anything that, anything that I feel. Uh, great gratitude meditation feeling life meditation you probably don't know what i'm talking about because the the meditations i'm doing are the ones that i have found myself right so you won't find them on the internet <laughs> I'm really happy about that. I'm really happy to continue my sadhana, to dedicate time for myself. I'm really happy that right now, you know, being here in Lima, I have some more time to actually do these four hours, sometimes even more. Sometimes yesterday I did like eight hours, the day before I did nine hours. Feels amazing, man. Feels great. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Let me know. What do you think about this environment I'm living in? <laughs> it's very different than where you are living in right now, my friend, I imagine. I suppose so. Uh, wishing you the best. Thank you for watching. See you in another video, my friend.